<laughs> What's up, y'all? So, drama alert. NBA Gothboy. Run, run, tick. Got caught. Diamond gone. Cuckoo. Girl. It's the damn, um. So. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Nick G, the host, and today I'm back with another reaction video. Before we go any further, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. You dig what I'm saying? What the goddamn hell, yeah, league? So, I already read the title. Let's get it. Got nothing new with it. It's a whole lot. Oh. Happy holidays. And to all, some good ones. Girl, what? it is so much going on. But, I ain't got nothing new with it. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a lot of going on. It's Monday, and you know what that means. If it ain't about me, then I'm a key key. First on the dock and then I'ma talk shit. Got my sugar, honey, iced tea. Do you want to sell now? Period. I said what I said. Now move along, bitch, before you get red. P.O.P., you can't stick with me. Come on, girl. Hey creeps and welcome back to Messy Monday. As you already know, you can't sit with me unless you are POP and that is pretty on purpose. How, How you, are you doing? doing? First, I just want to say today's Hey Bitch goes out to everybody that took time to take their hard earned money and purchase hey, one bitch. of my shirts. Hey, bitch. Thank you so <laughs> so much that means a lot to me i'm grateful for you and for those who did it it's okay new ones are coming soon but i really do appreciate you guys so much um it means a lot to me to know that y'all would even want to buy something that i even create so wait what is i wonder how much he made from us my name on child probably like Five to ten thousand long. Freaking amazing. All right? Hey, bitch. Okay. Well, let's not hold up this time. Let's go on and get into this shit. And that's the sugar honey iced tea because you girls love staying in, in some, some shit. shit. First for the sugar honey iced tea, we have the queen. E, 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 e. <laughs> One thing about that queen, she's going to get that E out. This isn't really messy, but... But it's funny. Jacquees sung the national anthem at the Lakers game. <laughs> and this is how it went. That our flag was still there. He need to let that oh, shit go. He got to let them runs go, y'all. LeBron is ready for that shit to be over. Hey. Now, who approved this? <laughs> <laughs> who? Thank you, Zo. Who asked him? So, first of all, <laughs> I seen that he made a TikTok for it the other day. And I was like, did this nigga make a song about the national anthem? I done told TT he made a song about that line. Didn't even know. Whole time, he done sang the national anthem. And they made it a meme. <laughs> I'm to you. We have to have a discussion. Because at this point, I'm just sitting here like, Jacquees, come on now. You're doing too much. Let Sing it go. Song. Or the land of the... Free. How do you turn around? Let that shit go. And you run everywhere. I, I hate that. Never heard nobody run everywhere. Oh, the, the free. Yes, jewelry though. Damn. Of the bread. Every word don't need that extra. <laughs> I was sitting here thinking when I heard him sing that, I was like, you remember when we were kids? <laughs> And we used to sing the national anthem in front of a fan. That's what it was. <laughs> <laughs> it was giving me very much that. I'm just like, John, please. You could have did better than this. How do you remix? <laughs> of the free. National anthem. Let it go. Oh, my God. But he don't I got to do it. <laughs> At this point. It's, good that he sung. it's the queen mix for me. The national anthem. Because he always singing a song that ain't his anyway. They might as well give it to him. <laughs> but at this point, he can outrun Shakari with all the damn runs. 
<laughs> she is definitely coming to last place. So after we did that, they decided to take to the internet and put a remix on it. And y'all already knew Jacquees was gonna milk it to the bone, honey. So this is what it looks like. Banner yet away. I seen that shit, I was like, what? Or oh, the land of the Everybody got on outfit. His ass will turn something into his face. Oh, God. He gonna get a coin. Next for the sugar honey iced tea, we have Faith Evans and Stevie J. Now, for those who oh, haven't her. caught up yet, last week we talked about how he filed for divorce because he claims that she allegedly slept with other guys during their marriage in their home and she did other stuff, whatever the case may be. I'm not falling for it. He comes back and then he apologizes and says, you know what, I publicly embarrassed you. I'm so sorry, I wanna work on this. But after he does that, he comes back and he vows for spousal support. Not like Stevie J. Now, if you're going broke, just say that. Okay. This is crazy. This woman turned around and she helped you with your child support debt. And now you want her to come around and help you with spousal support? Nigga, I know you fucking lying. And Faith, I'm going to just keep it real with you, son. You must not have seen Love and Hip Hop ATL season one and two because the girls already told you he ain't shit, ain't going to be shit, and ain't trying to do oh, shit, God. but get your coin. Miss Mimi and Jocelyn said that, but I guess you didn't watch it. Yeah. <laughs> I guess you didn't watch it. We all know if they did a prenup, but we would. Y'all spam up the motherfucking biddies for the stream, okay? We've been on here for going on four hours. Go not spam up the bits for you, for a for young dick, you dick. We'll find out, but it is what it is. It ain't about me. Thank you, friend. Let's keep keep next. Okay. Next to the Shadani Ice Tea, we have NBA Youngboy. NBA Youngboy has been on Clubhouse lately, and he's been discussing a lot of things. Well, child, the one Thank that really stirred the pot was when he came out and he said he wore makeup. Now, he ain't talking about lipstick and all that other shenanigans. He's very much talking about just, you know, emo gothic type of look. And everybody is talking about it like it's a big problem. Now, I don't think it's a problem, but I do feel my boy going through some stuff. And he's just expressing all that through the makeup, I guess. I don't know. If you want to be Jeff Hardy, just say that. But anyway, I ain't got nothing to do with it. Do what you do. You, as long as you keep making this music, I'm here for it, boo. Um, like they say, he doing everything but seeing a therapist. But hey, that's on him. If he don't want to go, he don't want to go. Well, this is him. <laughs> and that's what he doing. And I'm going to love him. And I'm going to stick to that. If my baby want to look like Sting off the I just think he a little dark. That's all. A little dark. He dark. Thank y'all, friends. WWE, that's what he can do. Y'all can't tell him what he can do. Let him face pain. He can do that. If you want to be NBA Goth Boy, let him be there. I'm going to be NBA Goth Boy fan. Period. Bitch. It is what it is. Thank you, friend. If he wants to give dead presidents, let him give dead presidents. If he wants to give the praise dances that be in church, let him do it. I'm here for it. All right. If it ain't about me, let's be keep Okay. Next Thank you, friend. I see we have... Asian Dog. Now, for those who don't remember, Asian Dog tweeted out a couple of days ago, never get in, in another relationship on my niece. Remember that. Now, recently, Thank you, she said, single, it's time to live it up a little more. Though I'm missing you, I mean, that's cute, but they, uh, him and all these copyrights, child. Not still play that all the way through. Just put Y'all need to still playing that. <laughs> Bitch. Uh-uh. Thank y'all. Now we still playing this. Going on. That's why oh, when people be like, oh my mama, oh my grandmama, y'all kill motherfuckers at the drop of a hat. Bitch. Don't nobody put shit on me unless you talk to me. Uh, uh, oh God. Oh, Thank you, for it. <laughs> shit. Text me. Send me a letter. Look, I'm gonna put this on your life. Give me a chance to say I don't wanna give I don't wanna give my life away. Give myself away. I'm not giving myself away. Thank y'all. Give myself away. Give myself away so you can use me. Oh my no, god. She don't even know what the fuck she's doing. It was the 
give myself away for me. <laughs> give myself <away>. So you <laughs> Cause you don't put oh, shit. Asian line Thank y'all for the bitch. Yeah. She <laughs> wasn't gonna do right. That's why she didn't put it on her dick. I'm sick. She could have said on me. I'm not gonna get no one to me. Y'all remember I said that. Fuck it, you put Thank it you on for her knees. She want to kill somebody else. So she could thaw oh, around. Shit. Bitch, you selfish son of a bitch. Thank you, so Bert. people are speculating that her and Jack Boy broke up over a situation with Asian and her brother, and this is what they thinking. So after my the whole party, this whole shenanigans, I didn't want Legacy to be there no more, so I took Legacy, my security, Thank to you, my Bert. house and dropped my sister off. Okay. Well, fast forward, we in the morning. He come pick me up to take Legacy back home. All right, right? I'm on the phone with my nigga. All right, right? This man, the South to say, oh, I thought you was with a sneaky link. Huh? This nigga said a sneaky link. So I'm in my head. I'm like, my Asian I'm, gotta always come exposed like what really happened. She is an exposed exactly what happened type my of person. Finna say I'm gonna call you back. Once I heard I'm gonna call you back, it's a wrap. Nigga got me in trouble for even. Like, I'm like, yo, bro, when have you ever seen me with a what's a, a sneaky link? Y'all the phone in the car? They got a car phone? <laughs> is it me? Answer that damn phone. Bro. Nigga like. It's early in the morning. I'm hungover. I just woke up. Man. Now I'm just steady called. I'm not getting no answer. Because this nigga want to say I'm with a sneaky link. Get no answer. Sorry, but the person you called. Like. <sighs> if I'm going to get me in. Let me get me in trouble. Like. I don't mind, like, getting in trouble with my nigga. Let nah, me get them glasses, in trouble. them glasses, the one, though. They're so nice-ass glasses. This nigga got me in trouble for just... Why would you say sneaky nigga? Like, all the, all the time, you, you ain't never in your life said that to me. You pick today while I'm on nah, the phone <laughs> with my nigga nah, you, to say you, sneaky nigga. You really did not even tell me you were on the phone. I, I was supposed to say, you, I wasn't expecting you to I, say I, that. I really never said that to you. You're right. I I'm never sorry. said that to you. Cause you oh, never, he I fucked never it up. Got, I never I got that from you. You feel me? Well, child, I don't know. I don't care. I just... So the friend she with messed up the whole operation on the sneaky link situation? Is it just me? I want to know how the niece doing. Is that legacy they talking about? Legacy. <laughs> legacy is fine. Call me, sir. Anyway, <laughs> uh, if it ain't about me, let's pray for the niece. <laughs> Next case. Next to the sugar honey iced tea, we have me. Now, this was the kiki because... <laughs> Man, I knew it was a sugar pig. Oh, <laughs> me too. Me. Not this bitch. Gay as fuck. hell. Got to be. Y'all, I see that picture and I said, oh, yeah, he gay. That's her friend. I instantly knew. First of all, if Mimi come out with a nigga, it wouldn't have been him. It wouldn't have been him. I'm sorry. <laughs> but anyway, Mimi and him have posted some pictures up. And she said, I love you so much. And he responded back. And people are like, ooh, she deserves it. She needs somebody. And I'm like, girl, not me. Him. Who? <laughs> so, before okay, I said, he's her photographer. Got confirmation. I said, if this sister moved on to from the baby, I that said, too. Honey, talk it out. <laughs> me, I need to talk it out. Because I think he, <laughs> I think he ain't telling us something. Now, I know people can be metrosexual and all that good stuff. <laughs> but <laughs> that's a queen. This a queen right here, baby. She's a queen, okay? It's not happening. Not with me, me. I was like, y'all. <laughs> and you know, <laughs> that's people's problem. People are shipping people as soon as they see a picture. Befriending people when they do a fucking collaboration. <laughs> Shade. Girl. Ooh, child. And then get weird with you. Are you being weird to me? I was doing what I was supposed to be doing while I was doing it. I, I, I didn't ask you for the rest of this. Putting feelings and emotions and friendships on my business ship. That's her photographer. 
<laughs> but yeah, so once everybody found out that the man in the picture was only her friend, they left alone and called it the mix up. <laughs> and they, they said that he had like the man. So we just left it alone and said let them do what they want the juice. <laughs> <laughs> Cause we ain't got nothing to do with it. <laughs> with it. Y'all, oh my God. Why are people so stupid? Girl. Y'all is crazy. Anyway. That's the shit like. <laughs> these days you really, really, really cannot get mad at people. Y'all, I know. Sometimes, especially in the comments when I feel like it. If I give you time, bitch, take it. Because I be like, yeah, bitch. Or like. But I promise you, I'm not upset. Right after I put that phone down, I'm like, <laughs> so what you do today? Jell him? No, oh, okay. What you do? Shit, going back and forth with people comments. You know, they be trying it. Oh, uh, I reacted to a couple videos. You know what I'm saying? Seen a couple people, you know what I'm saying? Ate something early today. I was chilling. You know what I'm saying? Like, you really like, niggas don't, yo. People really don't understand off this camera, I'm really living my own life and the life that I like to live, that I like. You know what I'm saying? When I tell you all that other shit will never matter. Mimi was dying laughing at these people. I know she was like, girl, y'all know this a queen. Bitch, okay. Hey, I knew he was gay. Me y'all ain't had to too. tell me that. <laughs> you can just look and tell that he like <laughs> if, it, if it ain't about me, let's be either. Okay. Well, that's all I have for the sugar honey iced tea. Girl. Let's get into this mess. First of the ducket, we have Rod Wave. Rod Wave had dropped a new song and it was called Nirvana. And after he dropped it, there was lyrics in the song that made fans question was he okay? Because after he dropped the song, he then deactivated his account and social media and it just made people question, is he okay? Is he gonna kill himself? Was that a suicide letter? Was he crying out for help? Whatever, woo, woo, woo. If you're in this, too late. Uh-oh, child, what be going on? Rob Wave deactivated his Instagram and Twitter. He posted a song called Nirvana on YouTube tonight talking about suicidal thoughts and how tomorrow is doomsday. I'm actually worried for this man. Y'all putting suicide on him and he just fucking being an artist. Uh, can we take a moment to pray for Rob Wave? Mm -mm. I done been broke so many times I... I don't know what to believe. Why would you delete all that stuff knowing you just dropped this song? Now, I know there's publicity stunts and there's tactics to make songs go viral and bring awareness to songs. And to me, I feel like that's what took place. I think he did that and when he deactivated that page, he knew it would bring discussion around the song and him. And I think that's what he did. Was it a good way to do it? No, because it scared people, but it was smart. Because everybody knows his music, and everybody knows his music leans towards, you know, depression issues and fighting. I'm going to tell y'all right now. I, I might have to make me a couple shirts. Well, I know I'm about to be making shirts anyway. Uh, But it's about clout. And people don't understand that clout is running the world. And unfortunately... What are we supposed to do? Like, you could be dead ass in distress, hurt, sad. And somebody will somebody will put in your comments that you faking, that you doing this for clout. But you could be dead ass serious, fucked up. When people laugh at your pain, you have to turn that pain into money. And I know that may sound crazy for some of y'all, but unfortunately, that's what's going on. When I was sad at one point, took it to the internet, and people was telling me I was doing it for clout. That changed my whole perspective in life. It changed my whole perspective. 
that's when y'all started hearing me say fuck it i mean shit yeah we are doing this shit for cloud that's the truth that's the truth this is for cloud all i am reacting to this video for views reacting to this video for views gets you watch time watch time gets you money why lie if i really had a issue if I, I if I was really fucked up if I was really down bad nobody would give a fuck you know what I'm saying so what the fuck we lying for <laughs> at the end of the day clout is running the world we in one of them eras you better get with it or get lost nigga if you can't beat them join them nigga for real through things and stuff like that but what i hope his fans understand is he's not saying stay in that place and do that stuff he wants you to overcome those things but anyway once all that went about and people was bringing negative light towards the song he went live and this is what he said a lot of people take my death and just say that that was my suicide letter like that's not how that worked that's not how suicide letters work you don't go to a studio and record suicide letters, bro. Y'all real fans of me, people who really listen to my music, they know, like, what my music be like, you feel what I'm saying? So, this shit I already, like, you know what I'm saying? It posting, just like, twisting up shit, saying, right, posted a suicide letter. That's not true, bro. Shit, I'm saying? Now you got my people calling me. People are going around crazy and just hating. They're talking about I'm looking for attention. Who the Then they say you're looking for attention. And you know what? I feel like that be people that's hurting they damn self. Like, bitch, did you say I'm looking for attention? I, I don't know what's worse. <laughs> you looking for attention? You biased? You a narcissist? You, uh, I've been called all these things. You looking for attention, you biased, narcissist, um, what else everybody say? Same shit. Gaslighting is the new thing. You're gaslighting the situation. You could be talking about biscuits and a nigga talking about you gaslighting, girl. Um, y'all, it's just, it's so bad out here to the point where I really don't care. I, I do not care anymore. I'm talking about at all, okay? When it comes to anything, like, people laugh at your pain, you know? And it's just like, uh, I don't fuck it. attention. It is what it is. Uh, you forgot who it was? I don't need no attention. Did you not see my tour? Did you not see my album sell? I don't need no extra attention. I had already deleted my Insta and my Twitter and all that. Because of attention, bro. I don't need no I'm extra attention from attention. nobody. Well, there you have it. He said what he said, and y'all not gonna get right away too much. But I hope he's not masking his feelings, and he really is going through something or fighting with something within himself. Because I know that's his style of song. But I feel like sometimes when you write stuff, it's what you're going through. And that's why so many people can relate to his music because they are all going through it too. And what he did with this situation when he went live is kind of what suicidal people do. They get offended by you checking on them to make sure they're okay because he kind of got offended saying, what do I need clout for? I got clout, whoop, whoop, whoop. But then they deflect the situation and put it onto another subject. First of all, y'all, let's be very clear. Everybody don't even be writing their own songs. I hate this shit too. When y'all, if y'all really knew, y'all, I, I know personally a songwriter. He write for Nas, Big Sean, a lot of people. He's my friend's boyfriend. Cool dude, dope ass soul, right? He's written music for a lot of people that I thought <laughs> was writing their own music. But the way he explained it was these people, they, do, they have written their own music. But at some point, your mind just kind of... You can't keep coming up with shit for, for everybody. You know, so some people need some fucking help. So, mind you, he probably didn't even write this damn song. <laughs> and then you got to take the, the flack for some shit you ain't even write. Girl. <laughs> Y'all, this shit just be beyond me. I ain't even going to lie. It do. I need a bottle opener. Give me, give me two and a half. I'm going to just keep this playing. 
And then all of a sudden something happens and it's too late and it's like, oh, all the signs were there. But anyway, I don't know. Um, Rock Wave, I love you. You can reach out to me, honey, and talk to me, child. This messy Monday, but real life tea, she ain't messy. So when oh, we okay. talk about what we that talk too. about, but he'll never come and talk to me. That too. Anyway, I love this little teddy bear ass child. I know you fucking mind. We'll just sit in the room and eat ice cream and cry all day and watch Lifetime. Anyway, if it ain't about me. I've had to, you know, that's another reason why I feel like uh, a lot of people, <clears throat> especially people that I've met, can't really like be cool with me because they feel as though I might expose some shit. Y'all, I'm tell that's something that I know I've dealt with with meeting a lot of these YouTubers. If I if I'm a reaction channel <coughs> and I come off reacting to things or you know some things I've exposed or whatever, child, how can they trust me? You know what I'm saying? So I'm not, I'm not certain certain shit I'm not surprised by anymore, and I have an understanding now. Of what the fuck is really going on with some people. And I kind of don't blame them. Because. Um, if I'm a reaction channel. And you know. You don't really know me like that. And you feel like I might tell your business. I wouldn't blame you. Let's keep keeping. Okay. Next on the ducket, we have Ronit and Sierra. Now, last week we mentioned how Sierra went public and let the world know that Ronit was abusing her allegedly while she was pregnant and after she was pregnant. And she said enough was enough. So then Ronit came out and this is what he had to say. Real good ass liar though. Cause how you gonna be with me last night? We together, you heard me? We eating good. I'm talking about we plotting up ideas, but you on the internet the very next day when something don't go your way, baby. That's not how that shit go. You heard me? I never put my hands on you. What the fuck is you talking about? You lying. Man, you was tripping, man. Man, you had a... Man, look. He lying. Man, this girl was with me last night, man. Real talk. We Thank you, Kia. Like, I, I know I know y'all, you know what I'm saying, fuck women. I know y'all don't think that I would be on that type of time. But when you a big YouTuber... That's why I be trying to tell y'all this shit be for business. Everybody can't be friends. It's just not happening. So when you a big YouTuber and you fuck with me and you fuck with me, it's, it's cool. But you think about your business and think about what's going on and think, you know, if I find it out or, or whatever, you know, you think I might expose your shit. I, I definitely know that's why a lot of YouTubers, you know, I we can't be cool. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't gonna lie. I respect it. I respect it. I do. Because at the end of the day, I mean, shit. It, it, I would treat it the same way. I ain't lying. But um, this nigga right here lying. We good. I got, man. This girl tripping, man. All right. You Why is you attacking me? me? Why is you attacking you me? me oh. <clears throat> no, look. It's on record. Look, why are you trying to kick me? Oh, why are you get you. What is recording? Look at this nigga. Damn, that baby looks just like her. He's such a abuser. That baby's adorable. You can rot hell. You just like your damn ugly ass daddy. Go back to Mexico, bitch. Just like your mom. Go back to Mexico, bitch. Y'all, is she Hispanic? Nah, she told that nigga to go back to Mexico. Yo. <laughs> that baby is half Mexican. I ain't gonna lie, that just fuck with me, y'all. Is, is she Hispanic? Do y'all know? What the fuck? Ugly ass about to two, bitch. All right. <laughs> That's a beautiful baby. Woo! I swear, one post and it's over with. One post, I swear to God. I'm telling y'all right now, y'all gonna wanna switch the subject. Already fucked the man, oh, her bro. mama Mexican. What the fuck? Already fucked the man. Just keep, just keep it like that. Now, after that video, I'm just like, okay, he said it was together, whatever the case may be, just, you know, eating it up real good, but anybody can say anything. We don't know if she was there, you know what I'm saying? So, whatever the case may be, he went and he said what he had to say, but then all of a sudden, from her Twitter, it was, hey, you guys, I'm pregnant again with his baby. And whoop, That's whoop. crazy, she pregnant and that baby ain't even walking yet. No, man. Whoop, and I'm just like, okay, what the fuck is hey, going on? Man. So then Sierra comes out and she says her Twitter was hat and that was ruined. Like, he's telling such a good lie. Like, it's to the point where 
I'm like literally didn't do something and then you're manipulating to these people to thinking that I'm pregnant because you want to look like a good person because oh you want to look like you didn't do this but all the receipts are coming soon so just stay tuned I don't yeah and ain't nobody time. dropped a video have they nobody really yeah I don't so. think nobody has dropped a video stay tuned I'll just she, yeah, so she's not pregnant. No, I'm not pregnant. There's no baby in this belly. Not hitting our stomach. I'm not pregnant. I'm on birth control. So, all right, y'all. Goodbye. And he's the one who posted that. I ain't never want none of this come to the internet, bro. Real talk, man. Like, oh, they did post videos. Oh, I gotta watch them. Something old. Not this about to be a seven hour stream. Baby, we still cooking them cupcakes. Oh, she took a test? Oh, so she's not pregnant. Okay. Always got to happen on the internet. Real talk, I could be chilling, bro. You know, why people got to come for me all the time? And then when stuff breaks out on the internet, y'all so surprised by what happens. Now y'all see she pregnant, you heard me? All I ever wanted was for all this mess to stay off the internet, man. Accusing me of stuff I ain't do. I didn't do that. Uh, that I am not pregnant, and I'm going to go ahead and take this test on camera so I can show y'all. You know that what he's putting out there is a lie. He really is trying to. Now he put out a fake pregnancy test. Now we about to watch these videos after this. I gotta pee, but all right. His last minute of fame, and he's trying to clout chase up with the situation. He took my Twitter, so anything that's posted on Twitter oh, he is abused not his me. Ex too. Got a test? Oh, okay. I'm gonna go take it. Just took the test, and your girl is not pregnant. So. This is just to clear up the rumors, clear up whatever's going on, whatever he Y'all, I can't it. believe he done you put know, a fake pregnancy test out there. Take it on the camera what? and just show y'all that I'm not pregnant. I don't know what's going on. Do I want to say she's lying? No. I don't think she would lie about being pregnant, but yeah, you never know these days. Do I hope that there was no abuse? Yes, but it's just hard. It's like, where did the, where did the bruises come from, Ronnie? What Where did those bruises come I know, from? Friend. What happened? We talking about everything. But where the bruises coming from? She saying you hit her. They both. You saying you did. My only thing be when they be planning shit like this, because <clears throat> some YouTubers do, and they will ruin their whole image. I'm just, I'm not doing that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'll go, I, I, I ain't gonna cap at this point. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But would I do some shit? Thank you, friend. Would I do some shit to um tarnish my character? No, no. I'm not tarnishing my character. Me abusing somebody, I'm not putting that out there. Hell no. Nah. <laughs> True or not. You know what I'm saying? So, nah. So, where did Some people don't give a fuck, though, like I said, because people going to believe what they want to believe anyway. And hell, if he already got put out, I mean, um, like, you know, exposed for abusing women and shit, he ain't got nothing to lose. In that case. Come from. If anything, just be a man about the situation and say, yes, we went through this. I did this, and I am sorry. But anyway, y'all always want to come to everybody but the courtroom. Like, what the fuck we gonna do? How the fuck we gonna help you? Okay. We can't do shit. We can't do a damn thing. Go to court if the man beating on you like that. Go to the police. What we supposed to do? Damn it. Anyway, if it ain't about me. I ain't me, gonna lie. That whole police situation, y'all, I ain't gonna <laughs> One day, right, boom, I'm at Best Buy. <laughs> I didn't make this a story time. I'm at Best Buy. Just got my little uh, fake-ass Yeezy slides, literally. I had just did a video about buying fake designer shit. But I kept them. Fuck y'all thought this was. They were sister all. They was good and soft. All that. Clean and everything. I go to Best Buy. I get out the car. Who knew it was a big-ass hole in the ground? But anyway... I step in the hole. I go tumbling down the hill like humpity dumpity, okay? Y'all know I'm built like an egg at the top. Let's not act like I'm not. So, I go rolling down the chimney and shit. <laughs> and the girl uh, I was with at the time, not, not like somebody I was talking to, just somebody that, you know, I ain't cool with no more. But she say, you want to call the police? And I said... She's like, cause nigga, you can press charges. And I'm like, hell no. Nah. The reason why I said, I'm doing a story time on this. The reason why I said no though, is because I don't trust police. Like you could call them 
for a fender bender and somehow die? No! I'm just not, I can't. I'm not cool with calling 12 for shit no more, okay? It's just me. But y'all, I probably could have had a whole lawsuit with Best Buy. So y'all, the gag is I was in a parking lot. Bitch, I'm talking about skin up. You know, got, you know, you can see, you know what I'm saying? Like you, uh, you know, skinned up. Like you can see that, that I'm bleeding and shit. You know what I'm saying? I could have got a whole lawsuit. Best Buy, parking lot. But let me ask y'all, could I have gotten one? Because I was in the parking lot. I really want to know because I feel like it's certain laws with that shit because just because you're in the parking lot don't mean they own the parking lot. So maybe I would have been suing the parking lot. Or would I have been suing Best Buy? Because I was in front of Best Buy, but I was in the parking lot. Let me know. Let's be keen this case. Next on the docket, we have Jay Young, baby. Y'all already know I don't want to hear this shit. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. your marbles again but then you turn around and say that you're not going bitch what the fuck is going on where are your parents at where's your daddy now all right i just went too far all right next on the docket we have Donald flawless bitch it will be part your fault and part best by fault okay that is a safety hazard nah they're responsible for making sure the parking lots are safe yeah because i'm trying to figure out how would it be my fault friend my homeboy called the police because his mama was beating his ass while she was drunk and he got arrested. You see what I'm saying? No, ma'am. No. <laughs> nah, I'm, 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 I'm okay on that lawsuit. I'll make a couple million on YouTube. You need help. And I'm to the point now to where I feel like somebody need to come take your phone and really get you some help because you have really lost it. Every time Something you break wrong. up with somebody, bitch, you she lose, lose her who mind. you are and you she want do. all this attention. She do. So this helper done went on the social media, took a picture of herself in the place, turning herself in like she was going to admit herself back into the psychiatric ward. She said, turning myself in. Sorry, you guys. I have to. I ought to slap the taste out your fucking oh, mouth. God. Because then... You now, this is also some shit that I would not do. Uh, Y'all would be pissed at me. You know what I'm saying? It's certain shit that I can't... I, I just cannot... I have too many morals to do. So I know if I told y'all I was turning myself into the psych ward and was fucking playing, like y'all would cut, like I feel like some of y'all would cut me off and you would have every right to because that's fucked up. Especially if I'm, if I fuck with you. You know what I'm saying? Nah. So when she did that, I was like, oh my God. I just started to pay attention to it. It's almost like I check on her through through the internet. You turned around and you had the audacity to put it. I'm sorry, guys. I apologize for trolling. I just need y'all to understand what's going on around me. Bitch, what the fuck are you talking about, stupid? We need to understand what's going on around you. Do you even know what the fuck? Not saying sure would, friend, but we're still talking to TT. I get it. I get it. I think Kia will cuss me out. I don't think Kia will cuss me off. Uh, uh, cut me off. I don't even think Sean Dunn will cut me off. I think both of y'all would be like, bitch. <laughs> Are you all right? Because <laughs> what kind of bullshit is this? Oh, yeah, I would be so pissed if one of y'all did that to me. I would need some time, friend. <laughs> <laughs> Destiny, listen, I'm not mad at you for that. First of all, I would never do it, so don't worry. But y'all, I wouldn't blame you if y'all was mad at me. I really wouldn't. Because that shit right there, first of all, I would never do that. But that shit right there, nah, you do anything for clout. Not that, not that. What is going on around you? <laughs> You told people that you Kia gonna be like, come to the motherfucking airport. Come to the airport. I'm in Atlanta. And me, I'm pulling up. Kia, Kia. <laughs> if you, I'm just, let's go eat. <laughs> K. 
Kayla. Please. Get <laughs> yourself into a psychiatric a discord and you are apparently losing your mouth marbles again. But then you turn around and say that you're not going. Bitch, what the fuck is going on? Where are your parents at? Where's your daddy now? <laughs> <laughs> come do it to me. No, 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 you come to me. Come do it to me. No, you come to me. Come do it to me. Come do it to me. Hey, Nate, I'm gonna tell you to shut up. No, you shut up. Hey, shut up. No, you shut up. <laughs> come do that shit to me. <laughs> you need to be asking your daughter. Come get some help for you. <laughs> She's stupid. That's the daddy. But now when he's dealing with his daughter, he hiding out somewhere because he know the help for crazy. Get us some medicine. Get us some help. Ain't nothing he can do. Dogs talking about they go together and he won't hug or something like that. Yeah, nah. He got mad and told the girl to leave him. Y'all, that 42 Doug situation is crazy. Along, he ain't did shit with it. He ain't fuck with it. If she don't stop fucking with him, then he gonna end up leaking the shit that she been posting tagging him. Not Kiana just dropped a, a Christmas smasher pass. Yep. They messing with each other. She hanging out with him. See, the bitch is just delusional. At this point, this is not how you deal with a breakup. Going out here doing crazy wild shit. And then 42 does relax because you out here kissing and licking on your son's neck. <laughs> and <laughs> so hush, both of y'all got issues. Maybe y'all do need each other. Oh my God. I would never forget 42 does licking on his son's neck like that. TT just said that the other day. I forgot what we was talking about though. Talking about. Uh, well, you said something about 42 Doug uh, licking on his child, but it, it was for a reason. Oh, yeah. So it was a little girl that was, you know how, like, you somebody sitting down and their child is right there, but the child is in the middle of their legs. Like, his legs open, the child is in front of him. So I guess it was his music or whatever, and his daughter just started twerking. But he was like, hey, you know what I'm saying? And they got it looking like the daughter is twerking on the dad. Like, it's so ironic how, like, if your child is small and literally in the middle of you, okay? She start twerking. You like, hey, like, go daughter. You know what I'm saying? Like, how you going to say... Like, it, they said that it was sexual. Oh, my God. That shit had me so upset. Y'all, it wasn't no reason to call CPS on that. Y'all, that girl was just, you know, doing her little, her little girl thing. She was just twerking. Her daddy was like, hey. But he, she was nowhere near his genitalia. Nowhere near. He's literally sitting in the chair back here. She's in front of him. But that's because she's his daughter and she's smaller and she's in front of him. Man, I hate the internet, bro. <laughs> I do. <laughs> but 42 Doug was whole lot giving his son a hickey one day and that was just too much. <laughs> what type of people do y'all sit? Okay, I'm done with Zoe. You said most people don't encourage that at, at her age. I get it. But all parents are different. In that case, he was like, hey, go daughter. Like I said. You know what I'm saying? I, some of these kids, you kind of got to take them for who they are. Not even kind of. You got to take them for who they are. If she that young and she twerk, my nigga, girl, it, it's time to get that baby some money. She's talented. I feel like, you know what I'm saying? Not to go get on a stripper pole, though. <laughs> like, she could be dancing with the stars, dancing with whoever. <laughs> Just because she twerk, like, man. Problem is people sexualize kids too much. That's what I'm saying. This shit crazy, bro. But I'm done with this video, man. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Follow me on Twitch. Up there. Royce's World CEO. You dig what I'm saying? Definitely follow me on Discord. Um, I need to put my link in the description. I'm going to do that. Discord, we lit over there. But yeah, anyway. Love y'all.